Professional mountain bikers, the cream of the crop. People getting paid loads of money to ride their bikes. They're role models, or they should be. But it doesn't mean you should be doing everything that they're doing. changing your tires all the time. Now, pro racers will always have a fresh set of tires on for the race, which is not great for the environment, or your wallet, to be fair. But however, I did speak to Iago Garay out in Finale, and he, he was running a really worn tire on the back in between races for environmental purposes. He just didn't want to replace that tire until he absolutely needed to for the race. My top tip for getting the most out of your tires, you'll probably find that you wear the rear one out first. So when that's gone, throw that one away, buy one new tire, put it on the front and put your old front tire on the back. Just rotating tires like that means you get the most out of them. Dedicate your whole life to being faster on a bike. Well, I suppose you could if you really wanted to, but you might actually be shocked at how much pro riders sacrifice the rest of their life for being faster. Things like missing out on nights out, keeping to a strict diet for almost all the year, or doing hill reps first thing in the morning. There's lots of things that go into being a pro rider, and for most people, they probably don't need to take it that seriously. Dropping tear-offs or gel wrappers on the floor. Now, downhill races in the wet, you do still see downhill racers with uh, tear-offs on the goggles to clear their vision when it gets muddy, but hopefully the marshals and the course officials get to clear the track afterwards, but they're not gonna get every single piece of plastic off the floor. So there's no real excuse to do that. Uh, you do see some pro riders having uh, roll-offs, at least you don't drop anything on the floor there. And you do see some pro cross-country racers conscientious enough to pull a, a gel wrapper out, have it and put it back in their pocket or even drop it at the tech zone. So if pro riders are good enough to not drop things on the floor, then there's no real reason for amateurs to be using these things and dropping them on the trail. Looking pro, having a fancy bike, matching kit, the name on the back of your jersey, a replica Red Bull helmet that you've painted yourself, a monster cap for when you finish riding. You better have the minerals to back those things up because people are gonna think you have. Getting pissed off with your bike. Don't get me wrong, I have thrown things in my garage before, but doing that in public is not a good look. And actually I can't think of the last time I saw a mountain bike pro do this, uh, throw a strop with their bike. But I do remember seeing roadies throwing bikes down the road when they get punctures, or even that fixie guy, do you remember him? He picked his bike up and smashed it on the floor. Looked like an absolute idiot, so don't do it. I've definitely been guilty of this one whilst I've been racing, is getting a puncture and riding the flat tire to the bottom of the hill. Now in downhill and enduro races, I've done it because sometimes you've got to, you've got to get to the bottom of the track if you're in the race, or go and get your bike fixed quickly to get back up. But it is gonna damage the side walls of your tires. You might be able to reuse it, but it's just never gonna be quite the same again. It sort of wears it out. So try and avoid that one. Tuck, the downhiller's aero position that yes, does look cool, but do you need to do it? Probably not, best to keep that one between the tapes. Well, there you go. There's loads of stuff that pros do that you shouldn't be doing. But in the comments down below, give us one thing that you should be doing that the pros doing. I'll give you one to start you off. Going as fast as f Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Last but not least, champagne is for drinking, not spraying.